Hey guys, so I am Ellie Oakley Mardle and today I am bringing you a workout which is going to focus on some arm and shoulder strength and a bit of shoulder stability. So really important and often quite overlooked when it comes to sort of cycling activities is the importance of your, your strength in your upper body. Obviously thinking about the fact that when you're on some sort of rough, unforgiving terrain, you need to be pretty strong there to get that stability, but also particularly if you're leaning forward on those handlebars, you know, some nice, strong, stable shoulders is going to be a real advantage to you. So we're going to hear a little bit of a workout today, it's going to be a 10 minute workout, but before we do that, we're going to go through a bit of a warm up. So to start with, we are going to do just 10 simple arm circles on the right arm. So just circling forwards, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then the same on the other side, guys. So one, two, nice steady pace, three, four, five, just looking to get some movement, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. From here, we're going to go into some shoulder taps. Now, for shoulder taps, you're going to be in the top of a plank position. So hands underneath your shoulders, up on your feet or on your knees, whichever is easier for you. And we're then going to just lift the hand off the floor and tap the opposite shoulder. So to say you can go off hands or knees, whichever is manageable for you. So in this position here, trying to keep that core nice and tight. And we're trying to make sure that we don't go rotating our body, trying to stay as level as we can. We're going to do 10 of these guys. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then from there, we are going to go into some push-ups. So again, you can do these off your feet, you can do them off your knees, hands directly underneath your shoulders, nice and slow and controlled. Thinking about squeezing those shoulder blades in towards your, your back as you're doing it, so you're keeping that stability there, all the way to the floor and back up again. So off your hands or your knees. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <clears throat> so back into our circles again, guys. This time we're going to go backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So back into those shoulder taps. This time I'm going to do them off my knees so you can see the variation. Still making sure I'm keeping myself nice and tight in my core and my back is nice and flat on these, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then again, back into your push-ups. So again, I'm going to do them off my knees this time. What we need to look out for when you're doing them on your knees, no sticking your bottom up in the air, nice and level, okay? Still down to the floor. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice work guys. And then one more time through. So back to forward circles this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And last 10 on this side, your left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Back into those shoulder taps. So another 10 shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then back into our last round of push ups, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten so for today's workout guys we are going to be hitting a few exercises in order and we're going to work for 10 minutes so first exercise we're going to be hitting are the shoulder taps we've just done those in the warm-up so we're going to do 16 shoulder taps each round with the shoulder taps as i say you can do them off your feet do them off your knees 
really doesn't matter whatever is manageable for you to sustain if you need to chop and change and do them off your feet to start with drop down to your knees that's fine so with the shoulder taps though <clears throat> remembering keep your core nice and tight okay you need to be nice and stable in that core trying to avoid rotational movement so when you're in this position what we don't want to be doing is twisting and rotating trying to stay nice and level okay so we're going to do 16 shoulder taps from there we're going to go into some retractions so some retractions of your shoulder blades you're going to do this line on your stomach okay what it's going to look like is your arms are going to be in this position and you're basically going to squeeze your shoulder blades and just lift your hands and your forearms off the floor it's not a big movement what we're thinking of doing is squeezing our shoulder blades in towards our spine down towards our bottom okay so from here hands beside you and we're just going to lift squeezing the shoulder blades and back down so lift hold for a few seconds and back down it's a nice and controlled movement really working those muscles around that shoulder blade so we're going to do 12 of those each time so it's 16 shoulder taps 12 retractions then we're going to go into some tricep dips so this is where you're going to need to either have a chair a bench a stool something similar i've got two chairs one's a little bit narrow for me to put both my hands on whatever works for you guys yeah it's the only bit of a kit kit or equipment that you do need for these we're going to have to put hands directly underneath our shoulders okay for the purpose of these dips ideally we want your legs out straight if your legs are out straight it's making it more of a tricep movement so more of those muscles at the back of your arm if with your legs out straight is a little bit difficult you can bring your knees bent up and bring them in you bring your feet in a bit closer to you that is going to make it a little bit more of a chest movement okay than an arm movement but do whatever is manageable for you so palms so your knuckles are facing out hands pretty much directly underneath your shoulders taking your legs out from here we're lowering down nice and controlled and we're pushing up the movement is generated from my arms it's not generated from me bringing my hips and driving through my feet the bent leg variation is exactly the same just lowering down and pushing up okay so those are your tricep dips guys so we're going to do 10 of those from there we're then going to go into a plank hold so for the purpose of this today we're going to do it off a bent arm okay so we're going to have your elbow pretty much underneath your shoulder your legs out straight behind you and we're going to hold in a plank position whilst we're in that plank position we're keeping everything nice and tight core tight squeeze your bottom squeeze those shoulder blades together as well making sure when you're in that plank that you're nice and level we don't want to be up like an arched bridge or down like a sort of saggy piece of cooked spaghetti okay so we're going to do a 20 second hold in that plank <clears throat> from there we're going to go into our final movement which is called an inchworm so an inchworm is from standing now if you're like me and i've got relatively tight hamstrings you may want to put your feet a little bit wider for this the idea is you can have a little bit of a soft bend in your knee but your legs have got to be as straight as you can possibly have them from here hands to the floor we're walking out till we're straight we do a push up at the end and then we walk back up again okay that's one repetition now you do not have to come up between each one and stand up straight i like to because as i mentioned i've got quite tight hamstrings it gets a bit uncomfortable for me if you want you can walk out do your first one walk back and go straight back out again so that would be two as I say, for me, I prefer to stand up. So it's whatever works for you guys. So <clears throat> workout format then. We're going to work for 10 minutes. And we're going to do as many rounds as we possibly can in that 10 minutes. So it's 16 shoulder taps to start with. Into 12 retractions. 10 dips. 20 second plank hold. And then we are going to do six inchworms. Okay. Once you finish the inchworms, you go back through to the shoulder taps focus here guys is quality of movement okay so although it's as many rounds as you can in 10 minutes it is about not sacrificing the quality of the movement for speed okay so making sure you're doing good reps nice steady controlled hammering these movements out fast with poor control and poor technique is actually going to make you more susceptible to an injury and it's not going to benefit you as we're hoping to do with this workout so i'm going to hit this one with you now guys 
So we're going to work for 10 minutes, nice and steady. You do not have to do the reps unbroken. If you need to stop between the, between the movements, have a little break, you can, okay? So if you want to do eight shoulder taps, have a little shake off, do another eight, that's absolutely fine, all right? So we are going to work for 10 minutes. Bear with me one second. So we're starting with those shoulder taps. So we're going to go in three, two, one, off we go. So one, two. So keep it nice and tight. Just making sure you're not getting that rotation nice and stable as you're doing those. From there, guys, we're going into those retractions. So down onto your stomach. 12 of these, remember. Hold for a few seconds. So last couple, nice controlled movement. So from there into our 10 dips. So remembering legs straight, legs bent, whichever works for you. Just make sure the movement is coming from those arms, not from your legs, okay? So down as far as you can manage. Make sure your chairs don't fall over when you do it. <laughs> From there, we're going to go into our 20 second plank holds. Also, take a note of your timer off your elbows, remember, and we're going to hold there for 20 seconds. So, really squeezing everything tight, squeezing that core tight, squeezing those shoulder blades. If 20 seconds unbroken is not manageable, do 10, whatever you can do, 10 seconds, come down, do another 10. Just make sure you're accumulating and noting the time. There we go. And from there, into our inchworms. So six of these, remember, foot position, wherever is comfortable for you. Walking out, nice and controlled at the end, push up, down. Now, obviously, if you can't do a full push up, you can walk out, go on your knees and do a push up. That would look a little bit like this. You'd go here and then push up and then walk yourself back up again, okay? So six of these, that's halfway. Remember, you don't have to stand up. So two more. And last one. Right the way back up. So we're going back into our shoulder taps. Remembering you can do these off your knees or your feet. I'm going to do this round off my knees for demonstration purposes. So 16 of these. And it worked, guys. So from there, back into your attractions. So we're three minutes down, seven to go. So nice and steady with these. Really squeezing those shoulder blades together. Nice controlled movement. Last couple. Then we go back into our tricep dips. So this time, I'll remind you of the movement with your knees bent, okay? So hands in that same position, bringing your feet in, 10 of these. Great work, guys. And from there, back into our 20 second of plank. So again, take note of that time. And we're holding for 20 seconds. Nice and strong in that core, keeping your breathing nicely under control. Nice and steady. Making sure you're nice and level. Another five seconds. And then we're back into our inchworms again. So we're approaching the halfway mark now, guys. So six of these. 
shake off if you need to in between. You can get a little bit burny around your shoulders. Last two. Awesome work guys, we're just past the halfway mark now. I'm gonna give my shoulders a little bit of a shake out. With this one, you might find it gets a little bit achy, a bit burning around your shoulders. Just take the rest as you need to, break your reps down as you need to, <coughs> excuse me. So we are back into our shoulder taps. Stay nice and tight in that core. Great work guys, back into our retractions. So really important with these as you start to get tired, really focus on your form. It's another 12. Nice and controlled. As I say, this is not a big movement. Just focusing the muscles that work around that shoulder blade and the posterior aspect of your shoulder. So back into our dips again. So again, legs straight, bent, whichever works for you. Make sure the movement's coming from your arms. You're just going down as far as you can manage, okay? From there, back into our plank hold. So another 20 seconds of plank hold, guys. Doing really well, this is great work. This is a bit sneakier than it probably seems. We'll get those shoulders working. So that's halfway on this one. Another 10 seconds. And break there. So back into your inchworms. So another six inchworms, guys, okay? Feet in whatever position you need to have them. Just nice and controlled, making sure as you're walking out, really keeping everything tight, squeezing around those shoulder blades as well. Keeping everything active there. So it's a nice, controlled, steady movement, okay? We're not crashing down to the floor. So that's three. I'm gonna little shake off. Last two. And one more. So back into our shoulder taps. It's great work, guys. So as I say, just going through those reps, a pace you can manage and sustain that form and quality of movement. Awesome work, so you've just got just under 90 seconds left. Back into those retractions. Just slow and steady movements. Nearly there, guys. Keep working. Last 60 seconds. Time flies when you're having fun. So back into those dips. 10 dips, remembering no leg drive, all from your arms. And from there, we're going back into our plank. 
We have got 25 seconds left, guys. So keep working all the way in. We've got time to get this plank done. Keeping everything tight, nice and level, nice and strong. Got five more seconds of this plank. And three, two, one, rest up there, guys. So that's my little 10 minute AMRAP workout for some arm strength and some shoulder strength and stability. Okay, obviously using, using no uh, sort of kit or add on weights because I appreciate that at the moment it's probably quite difficult and not all of you will have access to that. So things to remember from this one, quality over speed. Okay, really important that you're making your movements count, that you're doing good quality, good technique movement. Pick a pace that works for you. Break it up as you need to. You don't have to do everything unbroken. And remembering you can scale the movements back a bit. So those shoulder taps you can do off your knees. As for the end of the inchworms, you can do the press up element of that off your knees, okay? Scaling version for your dips, bring your knees in a little bit closer. 10 minutes is what we work for today, <clears throat> excuse me. If you obviously have more time and feel that 10 minutes is quite achievable for you, you can always do that a little bit longer, add an extra couple of minutes on there. I wouldn't go too long with this one, guys. You do need to remember you are working a lot of similar muscle groups here. And if you do repeated movement to the point of absolute fatigue, you will risk injury. So I wouldn't take this any longer than 15 minutes, okay? But a little workout you can have a little go at. Similarly as well, you can scale the time back a bit if you're tight for time. But have fun with that one, guys. Take care and enjoy.